What is good to stuff family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Tesla stock, what's going on with NVIDIA, SPY, and the QQQ very, very briefly. I want to talk about some very important levels and what you should be watching for in the markets and what you should be looking out for in terms of levels for Tesla for today. Before I break anything down about what's going on with Tesla, what bearish news just came out, and etc., let me just mention a couple of things before starting. I'm firstly not a financial planner, so make sure you take none of this SAS financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to 12 free stocks. The offer ends very soon. The offer ends in just about two days. So check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. Looking at Tesla, we had some bad news. Unfortunately, the news came out that Tesla has cut prices for some Model Y versions in China due to the weakening demand. And this is leading to some concerns for retail investors and other investors going forward. Because right now, numbers in China are not looking that strong as demand is slowing down over there. And as a result of that, Tesla's cutting prices again. Their margins are once again getting kind of like bitten again. And investors are not too happy about this. This is why Tesla's starting to sell off even more. But the question is, will Tesla sell off more? I will talk about that in just a few minutes. Let's first talk about some data. So we have some new data about the state of the consumer coming out when it comes to inflationary expectations and the retailers. We have some big box earnings coming out as well. We have Walmart, Target, uh, Ross, and the list goes on for this week. And then on top of all of this, we also have some weakening Chinese data. We're continuing to see weakening credit over there alongside consumer sentiment weakening, which is having a big effect on the U.S. So this is very important. It's worth noting. Very important for Tesla. This is what's le leading Tesla to cut prices. It's very important for investors. Now, I just want to remind everyone we're going to see a big move today at about 11 o'clock a.m. New York time or Eastern time because we have the consumer inflationary expectations report. We want it to be around three. 3.8%. This is going to be very important. So get ready for some big volatility around this time. And finally, for earnings, before I talk about Tesla for earnings, do not forget that we have like Urban Grow and just a couple of others, which are not too big for today. But for Tuesday, we have the Home Depot. For Wednesday, we have Target. Then we have Walmart on Thursday. So we have some big earnings coming out later on. So once again, Tesla's cut prices in China for some Model Y versions. This was just reported by Reuters. And we can see that these price cuts are leading to more concerns. And that's part of why Tesla sold off the way it did. So as far as SPY goes, before I talk about Tesla, looking at SPY, there's a possible inverse hand and shoulders, but we have to bounce off 444 because we have this confluence of support. We have to see this thing bounce around here. We have the previous resistance right here, which is now going to be acting as support as we're retesting that level. That's the breakout level. We have this blue trend line acting as support. And we also have the gap, not the gap, uh, the the uh, falling wedge support, which is going to be acting as support too. So we're going to be watching these supports. If we get a bounce here, this inverse hand and shoulder structure could be valid. And the market could try to sink back up to this 446 level. If that breaks, if we get a breakout from the falling wedge, we could see this thing push closer to 450. But if we fail at 444, that's going to be our critical level. You're going to be watching the low at 443.35. If that fails us, if we end up breaking the low from Friday, we could be going down to about 442 to the bottom of this uh, support right over here on the falling wedge. Uh, and then we could try to see a balance possibly around there, maybe a little bit lower before it tries to make an attempt back up. And if we break out, then we could see it push up even higher. But here's the thing. Even if we do break out, that this nominee is going to keep going. This could just be kind of like a sympathy bounce before it drops lower again. So I actually drew this out just to be clear. I'm not calling all-time highs from the bounce or anything like that. So I'm just going to go over a couple of these. I'm a little bit late today. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I actually recorded a video and then the, the sound did not even come through properly. So I had to re-record it. Anyways, when it comes to Tesla, uh, right now we're at 235. It needs to hold this level. And uh, I actually have it on trading view. It needs to hold 235. If that fails us, uh, it's going to come all the way down to about 230 or so. And then we have 225 below that as three critical supports. So it has to try to like base around this 235 area. This is like the more like bearish case that has been playing out. It needs to bounce off this and make its way back up to 242. It has to bounce off 235 or else it's going to continue to downtrend and make its way down to 230. So we're going to be watching 235 as our critical level for today for Tesla. Watch 235. Can Tesla bounce off this or does it fail? If it fails, it could come all the way down to 230, then try to bounce. If that fails, then 226, 225 becomes a possibility. So there could be more downside as the news has not been good for Tesla. 
and we're going to be watching to see which level it tries to base at. 235 is a key support, so that's going to be important to watch. So anyways, so on the chart, don't forget there's 235 on Tesla. Watch that very carefully. If that fails us, we're going to be watching this to come all the way down to 230. That's going to be the next really, really critical support. And if that fails us, I would not rule out the possibility of 225 before it bounces. So watch these levels carefully. We also have this unfilled gap at 242. We'll see if Tesla tries to bounce off here or not. Be very careful. There is technically a divergent, divergence trying to form, but there's no confirmation yet as it's still sinking. So watch that carefully. Let's see if it tries to bounce. If it does bounce, you're going to be watching 238, 240, and then 242.7 as our resistance levels. It all depends on how it reacts to 235. SPY is currently testing the 200 EMA on the four hour time frame. It all depends on how it tries to base around here. If it manages to, you know, fail to balance, watch 444 as support. If that fails us, there's 443.35 and 442. If it actually balances, we have an inverse hand shoulders that could try to push back up to 446 plus. It all depends on how it reacts to 444. Watch that very carefully on SPY. For the QQQ, 365 is being tested. It has to bounce off 365. If it fails to do so, okay, we could retest 364.5. If that fails, watch 363, then 361 as supports. We have to balance from here on the triple Q or else things could get ugly. If it doesn't do so, it could sink a lot more. If it does bounce off here, there could be a slant to the inverse head and shoulders that could lead this thing all the way back up to about 369. So far, it's looking relatively weak, so be very, very careful. It all depends on how it reacts to 365. And finally, for NVIDIA, NVIDIA is looking kind of weak as well. I have the chart right here. We're going to be watching how does NVIDIA react to 405. If 405 fails us, I could see NVIDIA coming down to about, I mean, there is technically some support at 402, but it's basically going to get very close to 400. If 400 fails us, it's going to come all the way down to 397, 395, and 390. And I think somewhere around there, it's going to try to bounce. So watch those levels very carefully. Uh, I, I believe that we're getting closer to the bounce, but we're just not there yet. It is quite oversold on the four-hour time frame. But like I said before, before, there could be some more downside for NVIDIA. We could see this thing drop a little bit more before this thing makes an attempt to bounce. So we're going to be watching this very carefully. Watch 400, 397, and 395, and etc. That's going to be key for this thing. It is looking more bearish for now, but we want to see some kind of bounce. All right. So thank you all so much for listening. Get ready for the trading day. I am sorry for being a little bit late today. Uh, a lot of things came up and I ended up just like failing at one of the videos. So I had to re-record it, which is why I'm a little bit late, but I'm here. Uh, the video should be out very soon. Have a great day. Watch support on Tesla. 235 is going to be your key level of the day. 444 for SPY and 365 for the QQQ. See how they react to these supports. Do they go down to the next levels or not? And that's going to be key for today. Okay, don't forget a big move is going to be expected thanks to the Consumer Inflationary Expectations Report at about 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. So be ready for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Tesla to the moon and peace out.